Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. If you've got me on your friends list in Steam, you've probably noticed that over the last few days, I've been doing my best rich uncle penny bags impersonation throwing money left and right well i'm going to talk a little bit about that as well as several other things in this vloggy sort of video where i try to make amends for no content for the past several days so let's start out by talking about my little spending spree. The first game is easy. It's Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's something that I just had to buy. I mean, I really didn't have a choice. I do enjoy playing my gun game, and I have to say, I actually like the way that Global Offensive feels compared to Source. It's really odd to say, and I think probably some people would consider that sacrilege, but I think it, it flows a little bit better. The control is better. I don't know what it is. Uh, I feel more competent at aiming. And uh, as such, I'm doing a lot better in Global Offensive than I ever really did in uh, Standard Source or 1.6 Counter-Strike even. So uh, having a lot of good times, really enjoying it. I've been playing a lot of gun game in that reverse gun game that they have in their Demolition or whatever it's called. I really enjoy it, really, really enjoy it. I will be uh, hitting up Light Jimmy for some games at some point, I'm sure. So if you have Global Offensive and you see me online, uh, hey, take a look. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start putting myself in looking for game when I am looking to play a game. So uh, look for me in that particular setting on Steam and uh, let's fire something up and let's play. Now my second major purchase this week and the much larger of the two relates to the video you're seeing on your screen right now. This is Darksiders 1. This is some footage of my playthrough that I did over the weekend to get up to speed on the Darksiders story. Now, if you had asked me, hey, Dave, have you beaten Darksiders? I would have most confidently said yes, because it was one of my favorite games that I played during 2011. So most definitely, I finished Darksiders 1. But apparently I didn't, because the further I got into the game, the more unfamiliar stuff I started to see, and then I was getting Steam achievements for simple stuff like just beating a boss or discovering a new area. And so... I would now say that I have apparently misremembered my beating of Darksiders 1 and uh, I set out this weekend to put that right and did indeed beat Darksiders 1 just a few hours ago. So once I beat Darksiders 1, I got into that big purchase, Darksiders 2. Now I had been planning to purchase Darksiders 2, most definitely, but I wasn't really planning to purchase it on launch day. An event occurred which facilitated my purchase, and all I'll really say about that event is, it's the thought that counts. And that goes out to the person who knows what that means. Otherwise, I am happy to own the game, and I have started playing it. It just kind of sat on my shelf for about a week, uh, which I had not intended, but yeah, no big deal. So Darksiders 2 has a lot more traversal in it as you play as Death, and he is a much more sort of jumpy character. He's uh, nowhere near as large and hulking as War, and uh, he kind of leaps around and, and crawls on walls and does crazy stuff. Really cool, a lot more traversal, and uh, that's really uh, a weird thing to say because there was a lot of traversal in Darksiders 1, so Death uh, brings it up a notch, and I'm really enjoying the game so far. There's a weird thing with how the mouse controls work. Uh, the mouse camera, the camera seems to want to snap back to frame your character from behind all the time. And in Darksiders 1, I really preferred the keyboard and mouse over the controller because of the way that you can manipulate the camera. And it seems like that extra snapping of the camera is really kind of dampening my spirits when it comes to my enthusiasm about using the mouse and keyboard. So I might try it with the controller just to see how that goes, but uh, I really, really enjoyed Darksiders 1 with a mouse and keyboard. Once I had played it with a mouse and keyboard, I could not go back to a controller, and uh, I'm not feeling exactly the same way about Darksiders 2. So the other thing related to Darksiders 2 that you've probably been hearing about is the lacking PC port. It is a very bare-bones port, as was Darksiders 1. It is uh, a, a bit embarrassing for them because of the release of Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs, just it's one of those games that comes around every now and then, and it feels like somebody understood the audience that they could win on the PC by really giving you the cream of the crop when it comes to features and graphical tweaks. 
I mean, Sleeping Dogs was just bloated with features. It was it was fat and and laden with amazing graphical features, DirectX 11 stuff just coming out of every orifice. You know, it it, it is a proper PC port. It's it's even more proper than many PC games. I mean, it goes above and beyond, and it offers high res textures, DirectX 11. It's just it's it's oozing all the things that you want from a PC game. You know, it's it's oozing the things that you want a PC game to ooze. Whereas uh, Darksiders 2 is just not oozing anything. And, uh, you know, again, this isn't something that, that affects my ability to play the game, so I don't want to spew too much venom on it, uh, but it is, it is kind of unfortunate. I wish it had gone better. I think Vigil is probably wiping some egg off their face and getting ready to hopefully release something. At least give me a set of basic options. You know, you want to be able to point to this stuff and say, we hear you PC guys, here's a few things for you. You know, I mentioned in a tweet a long time ago, uh, Double Fine actually added a, an FOV slider to stacking because of like three people who requested it on the Steam forums. You know, that's the kind of developer that you want pushing out a PC game. It's not a developer who just comes right out of the gate and is apparently oblivious to the idea that the audience would want any of these features at all. And it's really disturbing. But ultimately, again, yes, it does not affect my ability to play the game. I will enjoy Darksiders 2 despite my inability to tweak the graphical options to my liking. So let's see, what else has been going on? Oh yes, uh, Man vs. Machine was released. And that was to be the subject of this past Friday's Free to Play Friday, Unfortunately, I couldn't get any games. One of my buddies tweeted at me uh, when I announced that and said, hey, good luck getting any games, and I just sort of scoffed at it. But indeed, I didn't get any games. Sat in the queue for 10 or 15 minutes, and then I gave up, because frankly, I have a small window of time to gather my footage. Uh, I started playing Darksiders, and after that, I just didn't look back. There was no chance, once I started down my Darksiders trip, that I was actually going to come back and play Team Fortress 2. However, I have managed to play some Man vs. Machine in the last day or two, and I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. Now, it is a horde mode, so if you don't like that sort of thing, you're probably not gonna like it. It is pretty difficult, actually. I was kinda surprised at how difficult some of the later waves can be. I played with a group through a six-wave setup, and we literally lost on the last bot of the last wave and it was really, really frustrating. Uh, but it just means that you're going to go back and you're going to tweak your builds and you're going to try to actually do a little bit better. I don't want to go too far into Man vs. Machine because I will be doing it on Free to Play Friday, but I did just want to say it's really interesting and it's going to be fascinating to watch how it evolves and how it changes, potentially, the landscape of Free to Play out there. They are fragmenting their user base by having the pay servers with the man-up tokens and the free servers with the community servers. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about it on Free to Play Friday. Hopefully you have enjoyed some man versus machine by now as the servers have freed up. It's a lot easier to get a game now. So as I'm in the process of recording this, I just noticed that director Tony Scott, the brother of Ridley Scott, director of Top Gun, and Man on Fire, Unstoppable, etc., has committed suicide by jumping off of a bridge? I mean, it's like 12.30, 12.45 uh, a.m. Eastern Time, and apparently this just happened, like in the last, or just was released in the last 10 or 15 minutes. It's That's insane. L let me just say, that is insane. I mean, it, it does go to show you that it's, it's not fame or fortune that, that makes your life worth living. It's, in fact the people you surround yourself with and the quality of that life. And, uh, you know, I don't want to delve into anything. I don't know if this man was miserable or not, but, you know, he was in his late 60s. He was making movies in Hollywood, which hundreds of people would cite as a dream of theirs. But uh, really just, just strange news to hear. And for it to happen that way, I mean, just, yeah, I, I don't know. But... But it does bring me over into my next topic, which is uh, the lack of video content that you've been seeing lately. And that has to do with me living my life and putting the things that are important first. And, and that is family. And I've been doing a lot more with my family on the weekends, which has severely cut into my time for video production. I hope that that can change going forward, but I'm really not going to make any promises. I will try my best to get one, two, maybe three videos out a week, but I can't guarantee anything. I do want to start working on those free game videos, the free indie game videos. I outlined my strategy for that on BigDavisCheap.com in a recent article. 
So look for those. Those will give me the opportunity to bank some games and have them ready to go for those times when I just don't have the ability to produce content. So right now I'm 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 just I'm going through life and I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm in my early 30s. I have a two-year-old son, and this is just uh, the salad days, as they say. And I'm really, really just having a great time watching this kid grow up and and doing stupid family stuff. Like I'm shopping for a chair right now. You know, like I spent all day Saturday shopping for chairs and it's just, it's, it's kind of, kind of silly, but it's also kind of fun. Like I'm, I'm a full on adult now and I've got a kid and a wife and a house and a yard and a dog and I'm shopping for chairs. So yeah, I mean, I'm never going to stop doing this because it's a, it's a hobby that I absolutely adore but things have to come first that are just more important. And in a few years when this YouTube thing is over, uh, I'm not going to look back on this and say I missed some important aspect of my child's life or my life with my partner uh, because I was making a YouTube video. So you guys who are out there and are young, do it. Do it while you've got the chance. Hit it hard and do it now. Uh, one of the guys that's out there doing it is Saven. You guys probably know him. I've talked about him before. Uh, he won, I think he won the first free-for-all. Uh, speaking of that, free-for-all is actually coming back uh, pretty soon. So just keep your peepers open for that. But go over and check him out. He is uh, one of the guys I have boxed over on my YouTube channel. So head over to my main channel page and look for him. He's got a little puppy as his icon. Just so sweet looking. So head over there. He does a pretty regular schedule. So if you're looking for videos, if you're looking for somebody who's up and coming and just trying to actually uh, put out a lot of consistent content and get YouTube famous, as it were, uh, he's a he's a great guy. Head over there, check him out. And uh, I know he is uh, having some issues with getting some of his content out. School can be hectic, I know. Uh, believe me, I've been there and done that. But he does have a Fahrenheit uh, Indigo Prophecy Fahrenheit is it Fahrenheit Indigo? I don't remember the full name of it, but uh, yeah, he's got one over there going, and it is uh, pretty good. I watched the first episode. I kind of didn't want to because I kind of want to play that game, but at the same time, it's so far back on my backlog that I probably never will. So I'm just going to watch his let's play. So head over there and take a look at his stuff, and uh, yeah, just live life, folks. Just please, just live your life, have fun, enjoy yourself, do the things that are important to you and persevere. If, if there's something that you want, push forward and make it happen. If you want to be the next YouTube star, make it happen. Push forward, make your contacts, do your videos, and it can happen for you. I mean, that's how life kind of works. I mean, it, I know it doesn't seem like that sometimes, but just push forward, keep your head up, and, and always look at your goal, and, and you can make it. You really can make it. That's speaking as someone who in many ways has made it to the goals that he set in his early teens or late teens and early 20s and uh, I just want you guys to know that it's it's it gets better life it gets better and uh, let's not have any more Tony Scott's around here huh know what you have and appreciate what you have and, and know that no matter where you are and how far down you are there's always somebody there who can pick you up so so look around friends family strangers on the internet you know you don't know me from Adam as the saying goes but if you're in a tight spot let me know let's talk about it alright guys I have been Big Dave that went to kind of a weird place but I'm not even gonna mess with it I'm not gonna edit it or retake it because it was my genuine thoughts and feelings just spewing out of my mouth hole so alright guys I'm gonna end it up here I do appreciate your watching and I hope that everybody has a great couple of days. I will see you again maybe Wednesday with a video. Look for that. Fingers crossed. Until next time, take it easy.